So if you've ever followed the market movers on sites like the Racing Post or at the races, it's important that you watch this video through to the end because not everything is as it seems. I'm gonna highlight exactly why that is, show you some reasons for market movers in horse racing and highlight the potential places where you can find them ahead of time, all within this video. So assuming that sounds good, don't forget to tap the like button down below there, subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment to let us know what you thought. Now I believe in showing examples to prove my points so if we look on screen here, you can see one of these pages often touted by the media such as at the races or the racing post. Their whole purpose is to display information about price movement, highlighting horses that have been financially backed. Now the bad news is if you've believed that and you've followed that, then unfortunately you've probably been suckered at one point or another. So here's what I mean. This is at the races displaying this morning's market movers today. Um, they're claiming that these horses have steamed anywhere between sort of 30 or 45% at the top there in green. And down the bottom, they're showing horses that have already drifted. So this was around about 10.30 this morning. And you can see the biggest drifter there is highlighted as a 190% move. So to an outsider looking at this, these are significant moves. You'd look at this and you'd think, wow, some of those those horses are being really supported and the ones down the bottom there they're donkeys nobody's interested in betting them so they'd have you think that they're real clues indicating as to what is likely to happen in the marketplace or even the horse race later on in the day uh, to make that worse pundits often use this kind of logic and this kind of information um, to validate their reasons for backing and supporting a particular horse. The trouble is, it's not exactly genuine, as I'll show you on screen here. Now, you may remember from previous video about tipsers, I highly advise going back and watching that if you haven't seen it already, um, but Bet365 are one of the biggest sponsors of these sites, and that's why uh, the page is really set up, because they want you to click an affiliate link to generate them some money. So, looking at the prices themselves, I wanna highlight a couple of examples on today's list. They're gonna be the one at the top there, they're saying it's moved 44.17%, which is Ratib, uh, and the one down in the bottom there, 45.88% move, which is 117 in the 8.15 this evening. So if we go over to the Bet365 website there, primary sponsor. Uh, you see Ratib in the 355 at Dundalk there is currently odds on of five to six. Now at the races said that Ratib opened up at a price of 1.63 to one, which means it's 2.63 in decimals. So if we head over to Betfair's exchange where we can actually see where bets have been struck in a public forum, let's have a look at Ratib's graph. And you can see the money that's been traded there. It's not been a huge amount, obviously early in the morning. Um, and the highest price that money was matched on Ratib was north of 2.63, although we're talking very, very small numbers. In fact, we're talking sort of less than 20 quid. So the question is, was Ratib ever really 2.63 with the bookmakers as they are posing on the day's market movers? So over to the second example here, 117 in 8.15 this evening, um, and it's currently priced at six to one um, on the Days market movers, it said it was priced at 6.5 uh, to 1, which is actually 7.5 to 1, so they've slashed their price even further. Uh, but they said they opened up at a price of 12 to 1, which is 13.0 in decimals. So looking at the trade volumes again on the Betfair's Exchange, again a public forum where we can actually see if money was even matched at those prices. And you can see uh, there was very, very, very small amounts matched up at those uh, prices a long way before the day's racing even started. Now, the reason I'm highlighting this is because you have to ask yourself, is this genuinely useful information or is this pretty much false information uh, for the general public? Uh, is it just another gimmick to sucker people into clicking a link and placing some bets? Bookies love to say, oh, but there's no liquidity on the exchange. And granted, looking at those examples there, there wasn't a huge amount of liquidity on the exchange. But they never have to answer the question of, did they actually take any bets at those prices? Because we all know what happens if you actually bet at a value price, a bigger price than the exchange, your account gets restricted and closed. As we've proved many times over on this channel, back with the other videos, we'll put a link in the description down below. 365 only let me win 700 quid in, uh, in a day or so. So the point I'm making here is, um, and I see it a lot on the build up to a race when I'm trading pre-race and the pundits are talking, is there's a lot of these phantom moves that go on. They'll say, oh, the price has really steamed um, from eights all the way into fours. Reality is there was only a significant amount of money backed on that horse at sort of like five to one 
and lower down to four to one. So when you look at it in that context, you've got a completely different situation. Is it a steamer, for want of a better word, uh, from eight into four, or did it just really move from five into four and everything before that was pounds and pennies? To add insult to injury, it's even more frustrating when you hear pundits on the TV saying, you know, this horse is steaming, this one's drifting, this one's not really showing any interest in the marketplace, and they're looking at these bookmakers' prices that haven't really moved, because they've already got a significant margin tied into the price, and we're looking at the betting exchange, and I can see quite clearly a horse is being backed that is not being highlighted. But don't panic though, it's not all doom and gloom. There is reasons for market movers, and you can find genuine market movers in the marketplace, as I'll share with you on screen just now. So here's a logical question that I just want to put out there, and I think the answer is already quite obvious, given what we've just looked at, but what is more reliable when you are building up your opinion and looking to place either a trade on the exchanges or even an open bet as a pun. Prices that are dictated by one source, including significant margins such as a sports book or bookmaker, or an open marketplace where you can see where other people have put their money where their mouth is and put their money down in that marketplace. Now this highlights my point perfectly. The only thing that really moves a price in a marketplace that indicates true genuine interest is money. So by looking at the charts and graphs on Betfair's exchange, as you've seen on screen briefly just then, that is the best place that you can use as a source to build up your own opinion because it's showing you collectively what the overall crowd believe to be true about a particular runner, including those people with inside information. We can't see who's behind the money, but we can certainly see the money. Now the second thing which you can't deny uh, indicates and dictates price movement within the market is change. I've said it in many other videos before, but when there is a change, the price has to change with it. Reacting to those price changes quite quickly is an opportunity in itself, particularly when you double it up with seeing the money in the marketplace. So these are two simple core reasons that I become successful on the betting exchanges as a trader all those years ago. Trust me, it really is that simple and you can't argue those facts, even if effectively operating around those two truths is significantly harder, which is of course why we create the courses over on calmberry.com. We'll put a link down in the description below for people who are interested. But just now I wanna highlight ways to quickly identify a potential market mover early on on the betting exchanges where we can see everybody's betting money. Now the first thing to remember is the marketplace is the best feature or indicator that we've got to build up our opinion and take the risk out of finding a market move. To that end, we need there to be activity in the marketplace. You can't open these positions too early in many instances, although you will find some unique situations where a lot of money floods into the marketplace early, so you can go looking for that, hunting for that early if you want. It just means that you won't find a large sample of ideal situations to do that in. So it's important to trade what we see, not what we want to see. We're not into trying to predict the future, we're into reading what's happening uh, early on and building a position into that market movement, understanding the market mover as it happens um, and being reactive rather than predictive. So we're gonna go over to the marketplace, we're gonna look at Betfair's exchange, we're gonna look at the trading volumes, we're gonna be looking for lots of little bets in one particular direction, money that being drip fed into the market, being filtered on, um, not too obvious, not necessarily talking about these one large spikes early on, they're usually like your VIP type customers placing a large random bet in the marketplace. We don't want that to skew our opinion too much. Um, but we're gonna build up an opinion on the specific situation. And I know that some of you right now are going, well, this isn't simple, this isn't easy and fast, but the reality is anything worth doing takes a little bit of time and takes a bit of attention to detail. So it's important that we do this. Um, earlier in the morning, I'm gonna say, aim for the marketplace anytime between sort of like nine in the morning and 11 in the morning. Obviously, you've got the morning prices that come out usually about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Uh, there's a lot of activity shifting around then. So that is the ideal situation to have been building your opinion up and forming that perspective on the marketplace activity, um, looking for sustained support on one or two runners tops in a single market. Okay, also, this highlights a very important um, thing whereby you know there's more than one horse to a race. So there's more than one outcome in this race that could be significantly supported early on. So we're not just looking for the horse that is supported to be a steamer in the market movers, but we are also looking for a, a, a race whereby there are not lots of steamers in one race, there's not lots of horses being supported. Now, 
That can be flipped on its head, say for example if you have a free horse race, two are being supported. Instead of going for the horse that is the steamer, because we're going to make money out of the, the price movement, we go through the one horse that is going to be the drifter, because two are being supported, so it's 2v1 in the marketplace. Obviously if you understand anything about market overrounds, we'll put a link in the description down below also, um, then you'll know how a market is made up on the Betting Exchange. From there the next step is to be reactive uh, to what's actually happening, and execute your position well with minimal risk which is you know the type of thing that we highlight in the courses so i'm not going to go into this on youtube now but it's important that you understand that is an integral part it's not just a case of predicting something that is going to happen in the future if that was possible it would be great but you know quite frankly i'm not no mystic meg i can't predict the future and i don't really believe in all that hokey pokey stuff so if you're interested in pre-race trading check out these videos in the end screen here uh, check out the links in the description down below thanks for taking the time to watch